thanks for watching. And here is a very important class of functions called the Schwarz class. And by the way, fun fact, Laurent Schwarz was a professor at the Ecole Polytechnique where he studied abroad in junior year. So that was quite fun. But beside the point, the point here is to have a useful class of functions for the Fourier transform because if you notice our derivation of the Fourier transform, we assume that f goes to zero very fast. Goes to zero very fast as x goes to plus or minus infinity. And in fact, if you try to calculate the Fourier transform of the function one, then you will see that that integral doesn't exist. Now, the question is, what does it mean to go very fast to zero as x goes to plus minus infinity? This is precisely what the Schwarz class uh, answers. So definition, f is Schwarz, If for all integers m and n greater or equal to zero, the limit as x goes to plus minus infinity of x to the m f m derivative of x, this whole thing goes to zero. And I want to elucidate this a little bit to see what's going on. So let's just take the extreme cases. Assume first of all, m is zero. Then what this is telling us is the limit as x goes to plus minus infinity of fn of x is zero. Meaning that f goes to zero, f prime goes to zero, f double prime goes to zero, etc., etc. So not only does f goes to zero as x goes to plus minus infinity, but so do all its derivatives. Kind of like that. I think this is f of x, f goes to zero, the slope goes to zero, the second derivative goes to zero, etc., etc. So, strictly speaking, for instance, the function 1 over x would satisfy this. However, this says more than that, and that is the case now n equals 0, because in that case, we get limit x goes to plus minus infinity of x to the m, f of x is 0, meaning that f goes to zero faster than any power of x. So f goes to zero faster than any power of x. So in other words, it's less than one over x, less than 1 over 2x squared, less than 1 over x cubed, etc., etc. So let me give you a very good non-example of this. So if f of x is, let's say, 1 over x squared, then sure, all the derivatives of f, they go to 0 as x goes to plus minus infinity, but it's not Schwarz, because, for example, if you take x cubed times f of x, then that becomes x, but you see that does not go to 0 as x goes to plus minus infinity. So really, it means that if you multiply any power of x with f, that's supposed to go to 0, and of course, you may wonder what is an example of this. 
A very famous example is the Gaussian function. f of x is e of minus x squared. Once again, this is f of x, so the bell curve. And in fact, you can check that. First of all, this function goes to zero, the derivatives go to zero, and any derivative really. But also, if you multiply f with any power of x, let's say x cubed e of minus x squared, you can check that this still goes to zero. And same for any derivatives. For instance, the second derivative. So that's once again what the uh, Schwarz class is saying. And what does that mean concretely? It really means concretely that if you're taking the Fourier transform, you can really assume that any terms at plus minus infinity are zero. And this is precisely because of this definition. In other words, we will only take Fourier transforms of functions which are uh, Schwarz. Otherwise, our calculations won't really work. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.